brother. What up? <laughs> Don Juan. <laughs> I look good, man. No, you I, you I. You I. How is the meeting with that uh Financial that, advisor? Yeah, the financial advisor guy. I mean, if I'm really good, he was very knowledgeable and insightful. He talked to me about tracking my money and being a more responsible spender. <laughs> hey. One. Come here. Come what? You see that? <laughs> you lie. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Hold up. You just bought a car two weeks ago, Jamal. I know, it's great, isn't it? Don't you think making two major purchases in less than a month is a bit excessive? For regular people, maybe? Yeah, just no. What? Nothing. I was just asking, you know, if you thought spending so much money in such a short span of time was a bit frivolous. Yo, chill. I caught the first one with some bonus money, and this one barely the whole check. <laughs> Jamal, that is a really expensive car. I'm just saying, why are you getting another one? I'm just saying you worry too much. Damn, tomorrow you're like, I don't got it like that. I know you have it like that. Okay. But don't you want to keep what you have at some point? What does it matter? I'm in my contract here. That's three contracts. I understand that, honey. But put yourself in my shoes for a minute. Okay. They might be a little snug on a brother, but I... All right. My bad. But Go you make more money than I do. I know. Really? <laughs> With this new job, I, I really want to keep myself financially independent. And I think you should too, especially since you have the means to. I feel you, babe. Do you have somebody managing money or you just do it yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, I got a guy for that. What's his name? What you, you quizzing me? <laughs> what is this? These trips we go on, these cars you buy, I'm just, it's all expensive. Babe, if you look fly, I look fly. If I eat good, you eat good. Jamal. You eat better. Look, I just want the best for you, and this poor agent money is allowing me to do that. I don't care about this stuff. I know, but I do. And that's my point. Do you know where you're investing your money or, or how it's being spent? Yeah, I know where my money is being invested at. Like I told you, no need to worry. My accountant handles that. Oh, that guy. That. Right? Yeah. So you mean to tell me you have an accountant, you don't know his name or how he's spending your money? You know, when you put it like that, you make it sound a lot worse than it really is. I'd say that's pretty bad, Jamal. What does it matter? This money is long and I'm cashing in. What happens when you lose clients or you're not working there anymore? What are you gonna do then? So you got on this negativity train too, right? You sound like my mother. Yeah, I'm on the train with your mother, the reality train. And I really wish you get a ticket. Listen, I'm about to come up for real. And when I do, I'll have enough money for the present and the future. So don't worry. All you gotta do is sit back and enjoy the ride. Chill. Great. Right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ride to the spa. So, can you chill some cash in my hand? <laughs>
I feel like you would make me choose. What? I would never make you do anything like that. My grandmother, she's in that home. Mm -hmm. My sisters and I have been thinking about getting her out of there. Yeah? Well, she can't live with them. They all have kids. Right. Really, David? What? <sighs> okay. If we were to get married, and my grandmother needed to live with us, would you have a problem with that? Mm -hmm. Look, Serena, I didn't realize it was a whole package deal that I'd be taking care of you and your family. I mean, if something happens to them, they're all gonna come here and wanna crash, right? Well, it's my family and my brother needs me. I wish I'd known about this before. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hello, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? All right, the, the black BMW? The black BMW what? It's the only black on black BMW in your lot. I dropped it off at 9 a.m. You guys said it'd be done two hours ago. Yes, the black BMW right. from this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, you came in, you were talking about an engine problem. It was actually your alternator. So we brought it in, popped the hood on it. Mm. Went in and we fixed the alternator. It's going to be about $1,200, which is good for you because it's less than what they told you earlier. $1,200. Yes, sir. We can That's do it, it right now. We'll get you off the lot in about 10 minutes. All right. It's not a problem. Cash or plastic? It doesn't matter. All right. I'm going to go run that for you. I'll be right back. Can you hurry up? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, your card is declined. Declined? Yeah. You try, let's try that again. Okay. I'm going I'm to go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. I tried it again and it is indeed declined. Dude, really? This car is brand new. Must be some type of mistake. Big mistake. I understand. You know, you're really good at this job. Thank you so much. I try. Let me just give it to you, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Big red letters. Are you kidding me? No. That is a nice jacket. You might want to take it back so you can maybe get a new card and All right. Whatever you have you know, it'll be here when you get back. If you come back with another card. All right. Okay, you have a great day, sir. All right, bye bye. Baby! Stacy! Baby! What? And you sit right in front of your phone. I've been calling you all day. I just got off the city bus. Why were you on the bus? Because my car is in the shop. What, did you get it fixed? No, I didn't get it fixed. Because you spent the $1,200 that I put away for the emergency fund. That's why. What? You know what I'm talking about. The $1,200 that I put up for a rainy day. You spent that? Come on, Stacey. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I spent it on the stuff that we needed, you know, like the rent was due, the bills, no. the car notes were due. You've been being oh, reckless like that. lately. That's what you've been doing. No, I haven't. Yes, you I've been very responsible. I've